or swimming pool. It is a golf court. Okay, it is a water golf court. Okay. And also engineering training laboratory. Of course, I don't know the what what the name is. Okay, I'm major in education here, so in engineering training. Yes, yeah, engineering training laboratory. Here. Yeah. Okay, now are all all the machines just from one college that is the college of mechanic engineering. Yeah, the only yeah, did that take part? And currently, then we have uh, one hundred and ninety-two full-time. Professor and doctor, and there are 280 teachers with senior professional title among the full time teacher, and the part time teachers are about 410, and also there are 420 administrative people in the UIT. So it's a very, very big family, right? Now, the 2,000 people. In our university, so you 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 can think the whole busy I, I'm every day okay, so cope with everything right, that. And also we have the student of, uh, twenty six thousand full time student, okay. Just uh, last year, we received their national assessment for education, so we reduced the student okay. Last year, now maybe next year, now our student will be maybe uh, thirty thousand. Okay, next year, so it's a big one. But we only have twenty years of history. Now our university uh, was built in nineteen ninety seven, and then twenty six thousand. Right, the very very rapid development. Okay. And in 2001, we changed our name of university, Zhengzhou Huaxin Professional and Technical College. And a student number here. Yeah. And in 2008, 2008, now the name Zhengzhou Huaxin University, and student number over 10,000, okay, at 11,000. And 2000 and 14, they the big changes. Okay, student number 2000, that is uh, 25,000. Okay. Then we have schools and departments, and have 11 schools or colleges here. We call it college. Yes, then they are mechanical engineering, school of mechanical engineering, engineering school of architectural engineering. School of Information Engineering, School of Business, of Management, Medicine, Pharmacy, Foreign Language, Music, Art Designing, and uh, International Education. Now, there are 11 schools of the UIT. And also, we have three departments here. Department of Business, Basic Teaching, PE, and also continuing education. Now here for the three departments, we have no student here. On the here, for 11 schools, we have students here, right? So did a brief introduction of Zhengzhou University of Industrial Technology. Now here, I'd like to say uh, thank you very much for your listening. And also, you are warmly welcome to China, to the UIT, okay? Oh, I, I have to say sorry not today, maybe during course of lecture, or uh, maybe for the question part, or uh, we have the barrier of listening and speaking. I think still hope that you can understand us. And I'll do our best to make our lecture clearly, okay, as possible as I can. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, Dr. Yan Bing. So as we have heard, it's. Uh, 
a relatively young school as compared to Central Philippine University, but the development is quite impressive. And so, without much further ado, we proceed to the first lecture to be delivered by Professor Chang Chu Ching on Chinese machinery. Good morning. Uh, my name is Chang Chu Ching, uh, major in mechanical engineering. Uh, today, the title of my lecture is the Development of Science and Technology in China. China has great progress in economic development since 1978. Today, China has independent intellectual property rights in many ways. So there are many things to share about China. Uh, but today, I will introduce the development of science and technology in China. Outline. Uh, first, the, the four great inventions of ancient China. Four new inventions of modern China. Modern manufacture in China. Um, the four great inventions of ancient China are ma paper making, mobile table writing, the compass. and the gunpowder. The four great inventions have made a tremendous contribution to the world economic and the culture of my kind. Paper making. Uh, look the influence of paper making on the world. First, uh, providing a complete system of paper making equipment, processing the whole world. China was the first country in China was the first country in the world to make paper. Before paper was invented. The ancient China covered characters on animal bones, stone, pottery, or wrote them on bamboo, wood, or silk fabric. The invention of paper brought a revolution in writing history. Second, promoting the development of bibliographic information system. The mobile table writing. Brush ink. Cover with paper. Finished. The influence of writing on the world. First, literature instead of hand copy after writing. Production speed is greatly increased promoted the cultural communication. Uh, this picture about uh, hand copy. Today, the books are printed on machine. Second, promoting the Disney. The student can download the literature on CNKI for free because Every year, university in China pays millions of RMB, means Chinese dollar, for literature resources. Today, many Chinese people use the Kindle reader to read novels or literary works. We also use mobile phone and a computer to read an e-book. The compass. The influence of the compass on the world. First, in ancient China, the compass was used to confirm direction in sacrifices, military, 
安尼丢因内选。Second, in later 11th century or early 12th century, Chinese ships began to use compass navigation, which set up a new epoch in the history of navigation. Uh, this picture about Zheng He's voyage. Third, creating conditions for later European navigators. The application of gunpowder in military. This picture about uh, National Day military in 2009. Uh, this is uh, Tiananmen Square. They have 99 mine battle tanks. There are five amphibious vehicles. Air Force 2000. The industrialization application of landscape fair work. Uh, this is Olymp Olympic bird nest in Beijing city. In China, major festivals will put a fair work display. Uh, chapter two, four new inventions in modern China. According a survey by a Chinese university, the four inventions in the eyes of the foreigners are confirmation payment, Chinese name Alipay, shared bike for everyone in China. Um, online shopping and a high speed train. All public parties you can use Wi Fi. This is Ma Yun. This is Ma Yun. Ma Yun is the main founder of Alibaba Group in the city of China. Even the kiosk downstairs and the local market across the street have a confirmation payment for customers. Our daily life can achieve without cash payment. Uh, means uh, if I leave home today, I need to bring cash. Careless, cashless is okay. I can buy, I can buy anything with my smartphone. Second picture, a girl is buying drink by her, by her smartphone. Third, the first shop owner sell food through confirmation payment. Last, uh, this picture uh, is in our university. A student buy breakfast. Uh, her smart. Take Zhengzhou city as an example. We can find share bikes everywhere. These bikes belong to the companies or government. Each of us can use it anywhere, anytime. Means bike for everyone in China. Uh, this is a shared bike. Uh, first, open the app on your phone. You can find the nearest bike. Nearest bike. Second, scan the picture. Scan this picture quickly and clock, unlock. So, uh, some of my clothes buying online shopping. The disabled people open line shop or sell something online. The Chinese old people online shopping at home. Electric appliance, train ticket, furniture, fruit, food. In China, express delivery is too fast, so online. 
uh, nowadays online shopping has become a very common thing for every of us. In daily life, I will Zhengzhou city. If I can't, uh, uh, I can't get a taxi nearby, I can order on app, uh, app. Uh, I can order on app. Uh, the nearest the taxi will get the information. The Chinese dream of high-speed railway. Look at this picture. This picture is about our country leader Deng Xiaoping visited Japan in 1978. Sitting on the Shinkansen train, which he made in China. From that time, high-speed railway dream be rooted in the heart of the Chinese people is the fastest train in China at that time. Running speed is 170 km per hour, and the test speed is 240 km per hour. In 2003, China Star, China Star Electric Multiple Unit was developed independently and its property right was com completely owned by China. Running speed is 270 km per hour. Test speed is 321 km per hour. And uh, 2008, the CHR, CRH3 from Beijing to Tianjin Intercity. Total length 120 km. Take 30 minutes. Design speed is 350 km per hour. Test speed is 394 3 km per hour. 2012. CRH 388, uh, 388, design speed is 380 km per hour, test speed 486 km per hour. From Harbin to Dalian, total length 921 km per hour. A CRH388 has high resistance to cold or uh, hot extreme weather environment. In Harbin Center, because in summer the temperature is 39 degrees, very hot, but in winter, very cold. Uh, the temperature is minus 38.1 degree. The temperature outside the train changes from minus 40 degree to 40 degree. But uh, the temperature inside the train can be mounted at about 20 degree. So, CRH388 use a lot of new materials and technologies to solve the temperature problem. Twenty seventeen. In China the latest high speed rail transportation is called Fuxing. Test speed is four hundred kilometer per hour. Running speed is 350 km per hour.
the Fuxing chain is advanced level of the world. Not only faster, more comfortable, more secure. The most important thing is its key technologies are research and development by Chinese independently. Uh, this is the, the comfortable factories. Fuxing faculty is more comfortable. You can adjust the, the light environment. If your mobile phone pounder is long, charging on train is very convenient. And the whole journey, you can use Wi-Fi for free. In China, our policies are connected by railway. Railway map of China, color line showing CRH and other color speed rail service product the modern distribution system. Uh, the first the brand is Watch, means I K chain. Automatic distribution system. Uh, second, Jingdong, the brand Jingdong, Jingdong robot picking. Third, the robot, robot sent deliver. Last, the brand Tianmao automatic distribution system. Okay, uh, let's look at a video about uh, distribution system. There are about uh, 60 or uh, 80,000 people uh, in Tianmo supermarket uh, online shopping every day. Every day have uh, se have 60 or uh, 80,000 people. Uh, so this is the distribution system of Tianmo. This is the order system. A barcode contains the complete order information. Without manual working picker, data process automatic identification of our product location. Warehousing system, S picking route, automatic matching order items. Robot compass our smart metric warehouse robot will waiting will link up will avoid Image recognition to ensure accurate order, complete package security. And a transport system, deliver can be real time tracking. Uh, this is a distri distribution system, so 
uh, see another video about uh, Express Deliver Automatic Sorting System. Uh, maybe I can explain. Uh, this is the job to help sort of parcels for quicker delivery at a Chinese farm. The job at the sorting stations are able to identify the destination of a package through a code scan. Uh, Chinese name with QR code. Uh, Information opposite. Uh, we till they eliminating sort of mistake. The army our robot can sort up to two hundred thousand packages a day and self charging. Uh, second gray made in China. Gali, Chinese name of Gali, Great Electric Appliance incorporated our Zhuhai as an international industry. Uh, this is a video about a uh, uh, great manufacturer. Uh, all the machine tools made in gray. Third, machine tools made in China. In 1949, the new China's first length six foot belt length was produced in Shenyang machine tool plant. CNC machine tools starting stage from 1958 to 1978. In autumn 19. 58, the first CNC milling machine, X53 K1, was manufactured in China. According to incomplete statistics, CNC machine tools from the annual output of 692 in 1980. Nine percent is a domestic brand. In 2012, Shenyang Machine Tool Plant independently developed the first IFL CNC system with network intelligence function and realized industrialization. Uh, this picture is our country leader, Xi Jinping.
domestic machine tool growing, a blue color, the proportion of imported machine tools getting less and less. In 2010, China's machine tool output was 750,000 units, of which the CNC machine tool output reached 220,000 units, 3.6 times that of 2005. Uh, this is the latest data. Uh, in March 20, uh, this picture is about uh, Shenyang machine tool plant. And uh, this picture is about uh, our university, the training center for students uh, who major in mechanical engineering. Uh, this is a manu manufacture center. And uh, this is the file access manufacture center. Uh, the manufacture center can be used for machine or uh, produce complex covered surface. Uh, we can look this video and watch how does it working. <laughs> 